Good morning, CMSW. We're going to start out this week with the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand. I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey, Westies, you know spring is around the corner when Girl Scout cookies appear, and that time is now. Today, Girl Scout cookies are an $800 billion fundraiser which supports Girl Scout troops all around the world. But back in 1917, the Girl Scout cookie scene was very different. The Mistletoe Troop in Muscogee, o Oklahoma, baked cookies at home and sold them in the high school cafeteria as a service project. In 1935, Girl Scouts in New York started using a commercial bakery to make cookies to sell. They had the bakery use their signature tree foil shape on the box. In 1935, the Girl Scout Federation of Greater New York raised money through the... Through the sales of commercially baked cookies. The group bought its own dye in the shape of a trefoil and used the words Girl Scout cookies on the box. In 1936, then uh, Girl Scout organization began the process of licensing the first commercial bakers to produce co cookies that would be sold nationwide. Cookie sales stopped completely during World War II because of food shortages. Sugar, flour, and butter were rationed, but the Girl Scouts didn't miss a beat. They sold Girl Scout calendars instead. They were back in business after the war, and cookie sales soared, mostly because of the introduction of Thin Mints in 1951. Today, there are a lot of Girl Scout cookie choices, but the top seller is still Thin Mints. Boxes sell for $5 each of that amount. All but 25% goes back to the Girl Scout organization. Girl Scout cookies are a big deal. In about two months, the Girl Scouts sell over 200 million boxes, more than Oreos and Chips Ahoy combined. The entire population of the U.S. is 326 million, so do the math. A lot of Americans are eating a lot of Girl Scout cookies. And they have had huge, they've had a huge fan base from the beginning. Even at the White House, here's First Lady Grace Coolidge sampling a Girl Scout cookie on October 17, 1923. Other Girl Scout cookies fans include Justin Timberlake, Chris Rock, Tom Hanks, and Reese's Witherspoon. Last year, COVID drove cookie sales down. People still wanted their Thin Mints, but it was not possible to sell in person at Cub or Walmart or, Walmart or Lowell's like usual. But they're back, full force this year. If you have been hankering for any type of Girl Scout cookie or want to try the new one, Adventure Fuels look around. It won't be hard to find them and help out the Girl Scouts. <clears throat> also back in full force, the jokes, all, all cookie ones in the honor of Girl Scouts. Why did the cookie cry? Because his mother was away for so long. What do you say when two cookies are getting ready for their fight? Let's get ready to crumble! What happens when you eat too much cookie dough? You overdose. Why did the Oreo go to the dentist? He lost his fillings. Hey, Olive, have you tried the new Wookiee cookie? Yeah, it's a little chewy. You know the problem with Girl Scout cookies? What is it? No matter how many I eat, I always want some more. Before we go, Mr. Songer wants everyone to know it's music in our school month. It happens every March. This month, Mr. Songer will be featuring some of the best musicians in our school, asking trivia questions, and handing out prizes. In February, we had several CMSW students participate in our middle school musical directed by our amazing choir director, Mr. Johnson. These students worked for three months auditioning, learning lines, rehearsing music, practicing dance moves, learning about scene changes and lights, and so much more. Life in musical theater requires practice multiple days a week for a couple months. Though it's demanding, it is one of the most rewarding experiences in the world. Today's trivia question is, what was the name of our middle school musical which just took place a couple weeks ago? We repeat. What was the name of our middle school musical which took place a couple weeks ago? Put your answer in the bin in the main office. We'll draw from the winning answers and give out a candy bar in an upcoming morning show. Good luck! That's our show for today, Westies. We will, we will be back on Thursday with another great show and even more crummy jokes. Bye! Bye.